Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, April 4th, 2020, week 70, month, month 16. 16. On keto. Crazy. Yep. <laughs> These have been some crazy weeks for all of us. Um, not real happy with my numbers. I don't know if it's just lack of sleep because I'm not sleeping at all. Um, but just not happy. <laughs> sleep, stress. A lot of stress, a lot of money lost in the last couple weeks. You know, but I think a lot of people out there have that same situation going on. So it's a little hard with keto lately. Have not really gone off path, just haven't been able to find the things that we normally would buy every three to five days at the store. I don't let Bill go out of the house. He hasn't been out of the house in about a month and a half. No, I, I went. Uh, I ran you stuff yesterday yeah, to work. I literally right. ran to the exit door, handed it to them, and then I was out of there. Yes. So she needed stuff at work. So yeah. All I right, guys. It. Here's where we're at for this week. Last week I was three twenty five point six, and that was up for me a couple pounds, like three something, from the previous week. I did get in a 24-hour fast. I stuck with my intermittent fasting of 16-8 windows. Mm -hmm. um, did not sleep really at all. Barely exercised. My back has been killing me. And this week, I am 326.2. So that's up 0.6 from last time. So I'm up again. Yeah. Um, BMI for him when we started December 1st of 2018 was 44.2. Uh, this morning he's 37.7, so a total down of 6.5 in BMI, so okay. we'll take it. Yeah, and, um, and when we did our measurements, I was up 1.25 inches, probably, my God, I'm guessing. It was it was gut and thigh or yeah. something? Yeah. So if you add up the round numbers, I was up 1.25 on measurements. All my gut. <laughs> <laughs> so... So that's where I stand on all these things. My sugars are not doing the greatest. I have not been able to get into ketosis. Um, even when I did three, two or three weeks ago, when I did like a 80 hour fast, I still wasn't in ketosis. Um, still fighting an infection. I ran through a whole 10 day antibiotic and steroid thing. Did not fix it. Uh, sent another portal message to my doctor. So I'm waiting for a reply on that because I do not want to go into the doctor. Uh, possibly get more antibiotics. I'm not sure. We'll see what he says. We're going to hope for the best and pray for the best. And Yeah. I'm trying to stay positive and just look at this long term, but I'm up a few and it just kind of frustrates me. I know what I need to do and part of it is sleep. I big part of it is sleep. I haven't gotten sleep in days. Just be honest. Lay there till 7 the other day until I got up. Could not sleep. So, lots of stuff on our mind. Yeah. Mostly financial and mm -hmm. stressful stuff. We do that temporary body air, airbrush stuff and uh, we've had how many thousands of I've dollars had, in cancellation? Six? Are we at the 6,000? No, not that high, but we have close, six, close to six. Um, cancellations and now that school is officially done for the year, mm -hmm. uh, the body art cancellations are rolling in. And that's, that's our uh, income. And our busiest time of the year is starting mid-May through, through August. August, but primarily mid-May through June is the chunk of all of our senior all-night graduation end of the year. So uh, we're feeling it, but we're yeah. gonna we're gonna stay positive. Um, so for me, uh, last week I weighed in at one thirty-seven, which was actually up a little bit from where I typically am. And this morning I weighed in at one thirty-five point eight, so I'm down one point two. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't so, even see your number stuff here. Okay. Yeah. So inches, um, it's pretty much stayed the same. Uh, yeah, your yours have shifted a little. It's not like you've lost right. inches, but like where you had inches higher, you have inches lower in other areas. Right. So it was so. kind of a wash, which was. Kind good. Of well, no, that, yeah, I guess that's good. Your body's still changing, right? It's still changing a little bit. Uh, yeah. Still stuff I can do, firm up. Can't wait for the warmer weather to get here because we're going to go out and ride our bikes. I'm yeah. so looking forward to that, being cooped up. I've been out working every day, Costco strong. Um, so this is another part of why Bill hasn't got There's a ton of sleep. Your hair. Like a fuzzy. Just a fuzzy. Sorry. Didn't mean to okay. interrupt. Okay. 
Yeah, so, so you were saying... So this is the part of why Bill hasn't got as much sleep, um, in mm. addition to because I've kept him extremely busy. We anticipated I had to make me one shirt and I went to work and about four or five friends said oh I want one and then we said okay <laughs> yeah yeah and the and next thing you know I think we're close to 70 now this yeah. week yes yeah. so I've been keeping busy in my little sweatshop <laughs> 335 degrees you'd think I'd sweat some weight off <laughs> but I didn't I didn't though now, where were you on BMI and stuff? Uh, BMI, I started at 30 BMI, and I am, this morning I weigh, uh, BMI was 22.6. So I'm down 7.4 on the BMI. So Good. I'm totally in the average range, which is... Mine's 6.5 on the BMI mm -hmm. down. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess if you look at it long term, you know, yeah. it's like the stock charts. Have you watched those recently? It needs to stop. I need to see those go down. <laughs> yeah, I need to stop watching that too. But... uh yeah, so you gotta get um gotta get back on the upswing. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get there. Call it the bull market. <laughs> yeah, we need the bull market back. <laughs> yeah, so is there anything else on the sheets here we have to do? We got we obviously have the uh pictures, but there's really not much difference if you look at last month versus this month, because we're pretty much in the same range at this point. Yeah. But you know, I'll put up the day one pictures versus today. As a comparison, but you know, I'd love to have been another ten down and see it in the pictures, but didn't make it this month. Right. Sorry for myself too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been it's been stressful. Um, you know, my shoulder's doing much better. Uh, I had a shot of cortisone on Tuesday, so therapy's going better. I'm still on restrictions. Um, she thinks she's Superwoman now. I I was Superwoman the other day. Yeah. But only in my shirt. Yep. We had Superhero Day at Costco uh, just to kind of get the morale up. Yesterday, uh, we ended up, I think there was probably about 20 of us in a picture. We had many more that had our shirts on, uh, but that's who we could wrangle, you know, midday oh, really quickly. at the same <clears> time. Yeah. At the same time, because we have people that work in the morning that are gone by 9.30 in the morning. Um, so it was really cool. There. You got a couple hundred people. Yeah, we have, we have 250 um, active, employee. active employees at wow. the warehouse. Now, quite a few. This is the time of the year that we normally have a lot of people go out on winter break because our busy season's done. And so we had a lot of people out and a few people have gone out due to the craziness um, with compromised, compromised immune systems, things of that nature. So sure. we've had a few people go out on um, we hired some seasonal people, but it's just been crazy. Um, and all your people that used to do samples, are they still helping you guys? Their last day was yesterday. Oh, okay. I know they were kind of helping in general. Yeah, our CDS samplers, uh, when they stopped sampling about a month ago, they kept them on. We the Costco kept them on, and they were fantastic, sanitizing and straightening, and just you know extra help, extra help uh, because right. some people went out on the winter leave. And, and that's great for them because then they yeah, continue to keep a job. <laughs> they were very, very happy uh, to continue a job. And we found out that yesterday was their last day. Mm. Hmm. So. Well, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this world. Um, gosh, so much weird stuff's going on. So and they keep extending things. Now we're extended till I think the end of the month. April 30th. April 30th. And we got notice that the schools were not going back to in-person school. Right. But they still haven't given us direct information as to how we're going to end this school year. Yeah. You know, we get packets every two to three days from these teachers electronically. Mm -hmm. And uh, Julia's been working on those. So, But we still don't know where we're going to end up with grades and final days and how that's all going to work. I feel bad for the seniors that are graduating because oh, this is their year and they're yeah. kind of getting snubbed a little with the, you know, we can't do the body art parties for them and the lock-ins for them. The proms. Proms. The walking yeah. for the graduation. So it's sad. Yeah, it is. Makes me like, kind of want to cry. <laughs> Aw, yeah, I feel bad for them. And then the college too. Yeah. You know. Thank goodness that both of our girls, fortunately, are not within that big time frame for the year. Uh, although Lauren's super bummed, they Lauren is our oldest daughter that's at U of M, and uh, she loves working in the lab. Apparently, her lab group is uh, starting to work a little bit with the coronavirus. Um, oh, the COVID nineteen. The COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. So, 
good or bad, she thinks that she's going to start working with that. So I'm a little Oh, she's excited, excited but we're but nervous. nervous. <laughs> we're parents. You know, that's how that works. Although she's been working with the viruses in the labs for the last two years, dengue, dengue fever, fever and yeah. things like that. So I know that she's got the smarts and she's very cautious and very, you know, always washing the hands and not touching things. So she's been giving us a lot of insight as things happen and, yeah. you know. But I'm still a nervous mama. <laughs> sure. But thanks for hanging out with us and... Um, if we can sneak a video in, I'd like to do one. You were talking about doing a fat bomb. A fat bomb. I couldn't find coconut butter, uh, but there is an alternative of the almond butter, which I don't mind because I like. I would, yeah, I would butter. like. I would prefer almond over coconut anyway. Yeah, and See, this I like is chocolate the based, right? <laughs> it's a chocolate based, yeah. Okay, Stacy's always having trouble with her fats on her macros. My macros somehow the fats always get in there. I like chicken thighs and things like that, but uh, so yeah. Stacy thought she would try. We got a really nice mold set from Amazon, and uh, we're going to try a little bit of a, I think it came with like 70 recipes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're going to try one of them that actually involves a little bit of coffee. Yes. And a little bit of almond butter, which sounds like something I might like to try too. Yeah, Bill has a new Death Wish coffee that he absolutely is in love with, and it says it has a little bit of chocolate flavoring to it. It's got a berry chocolate smooth Oh, it's so smooth. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a video on that or something. Yeah, Just do that. So show my new coffee. I'm loving it. I figure since I like chocolate and he likes coffee. And I like almond butter. And I like almond butter. So we'll kind of put it together and see what happens. Yeah. It'll, it'll be, it'll be interesting. There. Maybe my fats are too low or something. I don't know. Yeah. I think I just need sleep. I think you And to be over this infection so that my sugars will come down. Absolutely. I don't want to go back to the hospital or doctor, though. Nope. So I'm trying everything I can through the portals and electronically to get new medicines and try and get it out of me. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks <laughs> see for you watching. Soon. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.